Hi there, Booktube! My name is Cristina and today I'm here with a tag, the last tag of this year, and it's the Winter Wonderland tag. I'm very happy to be making it right now because, well, it's a little bit cold outside, but it's not very much wintry, unfortunately, so we have no snow, just rain all the time, so finger crossed the winter will arrive sooner or later. But let me get right into the questions. So question number one is, what book is so happy and sweet that it just warms your heart? And to go with something different from usual, I decided to pick the last book that I got, that finally arrived. I already read it, but I have to read it now in physical form. It's a graphic novel and it's The Tea Dragon Society. This little masterpiece is just so heartwarming and it gives you all the cozy and just warm vibes that you may need. I mean, it's about little dragons and they have leaves. They're tea dragons, so you use the leaves from the dragons to drink tea and they are just lovely and cute and each one has its own like behavioral pattern and you have to take care of it in a certain particular way. I love this book. Question number two is what's your favorite book with a white cover? And here I have to admit I went through all of my books looking for something with a white cover that I really really love and zero. Nothing. <laughs> Not one single book that I may say that I really love right now. But I have a huge amount of white covered books that I never read. So maybe in the future I will have one. Question three is you're sitting in a nice comfy chair with a cup of hot chocolate. What monster book are you reading? And I believe they're meaning like the size. And if I have to imagine myself in an armchair with just a fire and a blanket and some tea, I probably will be reading the one of the fairy books, probably the blue one, the last one that I got, for example, because it's something that you cannot really bring with you when you're going around because it's a brick, but then it's perfect because you may reach just short fairy tales out of it and you may stop whenever you want, so I will go with that one. Question four is, it's snowing outside and you decide you want to have a snowball fight, always. What fictional character do you want to have the fight with? Well, the perfect, like the very perfect people for it, at least in my opinion, are the Weasley family. And if you watched my Harry Potter Christmas tag video, then you already know that I would love the idea. And yeah, the Weasley family, more specifically, Fred and George, because yeah, because both of them, because some things never happen in my imagination, so yeah, both of them, and we would have like magical powers, so it will be just twice the fun. Question 5 is, sadly your campfire is dying. What last few chapters of a book will you throw in the fire to revive it and keep yourself warm? Well. I thought about it. I was thinking about like the 13 ways of seeing a fat girl that I hated and you already know it, but suddenly something came up to my mind. And it's Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That thing never happened because that book went straight to a campfire, any kind of fire, just to stay there forever. It never ever happened. <laughs> That's the deal. And the last question is question number six. What book do you love so much that you would buy another copy of it to give to someone as a Christmas gift to inspire them to start reading? And this is something very very personal and I believe it's a huge responsibility. <laughs> So if I have to choose, then I will probably go with a graphic novel because it's more enjoyable, more easy and it introduces you to reading in a certain way and it helps you if you're lacking in imagination. So I will go with a graphic novel and I was 
thinking about which one and probably Nimona. It's been a while since I last reread that graphic novel, but I remember loving it. It was the first one that I bought for myself and I'm just so so glad that I started with this one. It has an engaging storyline and a unique main character, so I will go with it. And by the way, so sorry for my reddish, a little bit swollen probably face. It's just that I'm really really tired and tomorrow I'm leaving so I'm packing everything but I really wanted to film this video and the next one that you will see because I wasn't expecting to film it but now I have to and the reason why you will discover it in my next video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Let me know down below with whom would you love to have a snowball fight? If you have to pick some characters, even from different books, how you imagine like the perfect snowball fight? That's the question for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very very soon in my next video. Bye! Ciao!